What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today in this video we're going to take a quick look at a couple Spyderco knives. These are a couple limited edition sprint runs, if you will. We have a uh, military here on the left, carbon fiber handle scales with a 52100 blade steel. Over here on the right we got a paramilitary 2. This is a uh, Blade HQ M4 blade steel. Um, I bought these two a while ago, and honestly, I'm not really much of a Spyderco fan. I don't know why the hell I bought them. Nothing wrong with these knives. It's just I tried to, you know, tried to love them, but um, I just every time I got a Spyderco, I ended up selling them. But uh, anyways, it's probably just my impulsive buying action why I'm buying these because they're sprint runs. But anyways, I just sold them so on the forum. So I'm just gonna make a video here to show show you guys what they look like before they they leave the the ranch here. <coughs> so that's why you know I got the gloves because uh, I don't want to like get my handprints on somebody else's new knives. Okay, there's probably my invoice. Probably don't want you to see that. So. This is the way it comes, packaged in the box. Um, there's going to be a paper in here, and it's going to talk about the. Uh, well, you can pause it and read most of it right there. You know, Sprint Run, the legendary steel they're using, blah blah blah. Right? It's like a paper of authenticity more so than anything. So it comes like neatly folded in this plastic bag like this. This is the military, of course, the carbon fiber. Um, you know, I don't know why they didn't call this the military 2. You know, they upgraded some features on the paramilitary and they called it the paramilitary 2. And this, I think Spyderco should rename this as the military 2 because they used to use um, a backspacer and then they've switched over to standoff construction which seems to be more favorable you know open through design easier to clean and whatnot so that's uh, that and the addition of an enlarged uh, lanyard hole here so those are the two upgrades they've done to the knife as far as I know um, I don't know if there's any others I'm not really an expert on these knives but Anyways, we're just gonna take a close up look at it. See, uh, you can see like there's a, a like a snail trail right there on the clip. So, again, this is just straight out of the box. I've never handled this. Um, I took it out one time to take pictures of it when I posted it uh, up for sale. But so you could see the snail trail on there that came like that from the factory. Um, just try to get this to focus here. I mean, the pivot screw doesn't look all scratched up and dicked up like I've seen some of them straight out of the box. They look all jacked up. It looks a little rough on this side. I mean, that's just Spyderco's fit and finish, to be honest with you. It's adequate to good, I guess. It's, I don't know, kind of overrated. But that screw, it just looks kind of rough to me. The surface of the metal just looks kind of janky. You know, on a knife like this, this knife costs like 220 bucks, so it's not really cheap. I mean, I don't know. It, it looks, you know, like I said, adequate for, for the money you're paying. Um, let's look at the blade centering here. It's definitely off. Oh, it's not too bad. It's definitely off a little bit. got a fairly strong detent I mean this thing could probably easily flick this oh sorry I kind of suck at it especially these gloves on there you go yeah it flicks out pretty good the first time that was my bad so you can see right there spider co 52 100 it's got the Spyderco emblem, full flat ground, beautiful <laughs> blade, Golden Earth, Colorado. 
it's just oversized. I mean, just crazy big. Really comfortable handle. Great ergonomics. Excellent slicer, I'm sure. That blade will just slice. It's not really the most robust tip might break off. Anyways, um, okay, let's move on to the uh, paramilitary too. Again, same thing. Comes in the little plastic bag. There you go. Paramilitary 2, one of the most exclusive, in demand, oh my god, the best knife ever. You just like won the lotto if you were fortunate enough to get this. Yeah, right. I think it looks pretty sick, actually. This color scheme, I like it with the polished pocket clip. It looks just more classy to me. I really dig this, this look, by the way. This natural, the jade. This one has perfect blade centering. I actually got two of these. And I kept one that was better out of the two. And I was going to keep it, but I decided to sell it. I mean, you can see what I'm saying. Like, why didn't they call this the military two? If this is the paramilitary two. It has the same construction now with the, the standoffs. And then the upgraded um, lanyard. Well, I guess it, it doesn't have, oh, I guess it has a uh, different lock. What is this, um, captured liner lock? And what's this called a, uh, I don't even know, compression lock? I don't know. That, this is a perfect example. Look at this. Flicks out like nothing. This is brand new straight out of the box. Watch. Completely free dropper. Okay. So some paramilitary twos come out of the box just spanking perfect. Some are all dicked up, bad, you know, blade centering. They won't have a, a free dropping action like this. It'll just get stuck. You know, I, I've felt a lot of paramilitary twos and Per my estimation, they, they vary in quality quite a bit, but this one is premium, I must say. It's a fine example. The, the, the next best one I've ever, uh, actually the best one I ever had was the S35, the brown handle scale one. That one, it, it was freaking, the build quality was amazing. It just, anyways. Um, there you go, CPM M4. Whoops, this one still has the oil on it. On the blade. Actually, I think I put that oil on there to protect it because this will rust like a mofo. Just a perfect example. So you could see them uh, side by side for a size comparison. This is the perfect size. I mean, there's a reason why this thing's so damn popular. I got a medium large size hand. I mean, you got the front choil that you choke up there, nice jimping fully comfortable handle or you can come back here it still fills the hand it's just this is just too big in my opinion it's just excessively too large unless you really need the longer blade i mean the issue i have with it is there's just this extra long ass handle even if you you know come okay that's like how you would choke up on it See, there's excess handle, and even if you weren't choking up on it, I guess if you're holding it back here. I don't know. I guess it's not really... It's a little bit excessive. It's just a little too long for me, in my opinion. But, uh... See, the blade-to-handle ratio isn't that optimized. 
I think the handle could have been a little smaller. This is just like a, a little too big to carry in my opinion. So there you go. You can see the difference in size. A couple nice examples of uh, Sprint Run, limited edition, whatever, Spider Co's. So I, you might still be able to find these. I know these sold out. It trade regularly on the forums. They marked up only like 10, 20 bucks so from what I see when they cost new. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of Spider Co's before they leave the ranch. So thanks for watching. All right, peace out.